Welcome back to The Bases Loaded. I'm Lucas. This is Fantasy Star 4. And we're out here in this place. This looks very much like the beginning to a couple of videos ago, or three videos ago. But this is Weapon Plunt. What on earth is this place? This is a weapon plant mother brain constructed a thousand years ago. For long it was an unnecessary facility, so all its functions were shut down, but it looks like it has been producing automatic weapons according to orders from Koran for about half a year. So we'll be in trouble unless we shut this place down? No, when Zalan recovered the production of the fun ceased, there should be no problem leaving this place as it is. So then I guess naturally we should just, yeah, just leave it. Or we could explore. Oh wow, I'm getting a uh, sudden headache just coming out of nowhere. Silvault. We had uh, some other things coming out of places that had things looking like they had things on them. And they were various stuff. I can say also, happy birthday to me. It was a day, but I have not posted any videos today, so you don't really know when exactly it is, just that it occurred today. Oh yeah, I also wanted to make sure I had the map for this place, because it's a little confusing, because there's the, um, the things that go different places, and I'm going to take some Tylenol before I die of a migraine. Oh boy, it looks like the uh, layout of this place is incorrect. So, I'm still going to have fun with uh, trying to figure out how all these conveyor belts are going to work. Because I do not have the uh, instructions. Come on, Chaz. So see, that changes the flow of uh, the belt machines. But, uh, there is nothing on that floor. And now we are somewhere. Here we are. Let's play Master and Servant. Let's play Master and Servant. That's bad news. You guys are the bad news butts. Not a very popular baseball team. Mm, we need to do some commands. Eh, you can probably just attack. What we really need to do... Doing that, that... Well, at least it remembered these things. That's what I'll do. I guess that makes sense. Yay, we didn't die. So, yeah. Um, got some difficult uh, duders in here. Ooh, Star Drone. Star Lord! I don't really know why I'm just doing so much regular attacking. Okay, fine, do that. See if I care. But those guys aren't too bad. And I guess the, one of the things that happens is you just run into... There are things in here, then there are things here that I have no clue as to what they are. Chaz, there are many things in this world about which you have no clue. But in this case, this is the Burst Rock Unit. It is a long-range semi-automatic weapon that fires heat energy bursts. It is for androids and other robots. It is compatible with my electronics. I shall install it immediately. Device installation complete. Burst Rock is now ready for use. Which means... Marco! Okay. So, we'll see if we have a pleasant thing to use these things on sometime. 
now we're back up here. That's just much easier to do. Where are we now? We're on the side, don't you see somehow? Going around in circles. God love the slowdown. New guys, sweeper. Hmm. Let's try um, our new friend, Burst Rock plus Nafoy. Don't do that. Don't do that. Ugh, you, you, you ding dang doodle. Maybe I did it in the wrong order. I, I mean, maybe something fired between them. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's a combo. Unless I completely dismembered it. Okay. I have no idea where I need to go. So we'll just ride the thing. So, now where are we? Gotta go back to the right window. Well, I just heard a disconcerting noise. I think it was just a cat upstairs. Let's just assume that's what it was, because otherwise, the possibilities are, are none that I like. The possibilities are things... Oh, you farts. Wait, why? Oh, you know what? The guy I killed was probably going to go. That's what it is. I do remember reading that. Because sometimes when your guys go in order... When your guys go in order, but the uh, combo is not fired off... It's because you killed one who was going to interrupt your turn. It decides everything before anything actually happens. Okay. That is not the right thing. We need to equip. Um, I was saying something else. Hey, getting stronger every day. It's worth it. More than that, too. All right. Oh, I wish I could remember what I was talking about. Don't go fishing in the bathroom. Because the main place you'll find to fish is a toilet. And you don't want what you get out of that bowl. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. As much as I would kind of like to use it if I run into, uh, what, Master and Servant again? For all I know, I won't. Oh, of course. Well, at least it destroyed them. I guess I'm just gonna have to double-check the, uh, the combos. I would like to eat some combos. Oh, I was talking about the disconcerting noise I heard. The possibilities, if it is not in fact the sound of an unhappy feline, if it was not an unhappy feline. So, like what I was saying about those noises, I could be uh, losing my mind, and those noises did not happen, uh, which, you know, not fond of that possibility. Um, it could be who the hell knows what, um, and that is also not a good possibility either. So, there you go. Repair kit is produced. Don't need that many. So, this thing here is just an infinite repair kit dispenser, which is pretty cool. If you ever need more repair kits, yeah, you have to work your way all the way down here, but you can always get more, uh, because otherwise, it's just the ones you get in the Robo Techno dungeons. Um, so. This way, if you run out, you can get more. Because up until now, they've been a scarce commodity of limited existence. And was I here? I think I was. 
so... Actually, I don't know why I'm still walking in here. I could just teleport away. I guess I want to see if there's something else I need to do with my abilities. The other one would just take me back somewhere I've already been. I can give that one more try. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep trying this until I run out to see if it actually works. There we go. It's an instant KO for every robot on the screen. We only had one robot on the screen there, but there you go. We did it. Finally. Circuit break. Got a nice house. Yeah. Huh. They liked the man who made stupid jokes. The Zolians like to keep the kitchen clean, but not necessarily other things. At least you get that idea if you talk to Raja. Ooh, this is a two-floor house. <laughs> well, there you go. Chaz, just observe their bottles and stuff. You don't get seasick in a house on the land. It's for the psychological examination. But why keep your dishes on the second floor if your kitchen is on the first floor? That seems wildly inefficient. All right, so we kind of already checked and figured and stuffs and things. We've been in this house. We've been to the place, and there were those dastardly thieves. So what's going on? Someone has taken the Eclipse Torch! Who are those guys? What's the Air Castle? At any rate, let me look at it through the sensors of the Landale. Does that mean we should go back to the airport? Spaceport, Chaz. Come on now. Um, yeah. So, whoa, I have been at this for much longer than I expected. Um, let me just, uh, yeah, so there is, there is, um, really not much, Ren cannot use the technique, I know, I won't ruin. So, um, that's basically everything that is on this here planet here. Um, oh, well then. <laughs> well then, and that's what he says. Well then, let's go ahead and search for the air castle. I'm getting something. Although very slight, it is definitely something. Can you get it on the screen? I will try. That's it! Despite the fact that you would not know, Chaz, that is the air castle, alright. It has a spooky atmosphere! Oh, are you getting a little scared, huh, Chaz? Don't, don't be ridiculous. We're going in. But uh, before we go to a castle, um, you know, we want to make sure, because look at that. We're not in tip-top condition. We want to top our conditions with the tips of our tops. And um, I do want to take a moment just to try and combinate the combinations show the face of the nations get the mouse out of the screen right cuz um we tried that it didn't work there it is to be a shooting star and then a trampoline if you know what I mean now, because it's fire-based, and those two bugs are fire bugs, didn't do much to them. Um, and uh, we should take a peek at uh, uh, Grand Cross, where it might actually do some real damage. No, it won't, because he's not evil. He's just a giant bugger.
so uh, we can also see the things in isolation and what they work like. Um, I mean, some of these combinations don't really do that much purpose, I guess you could say. Um, and then we'll see who gets to go first. You know, so the burst rocks themselves are smaller, but still quite powerful. Um, it's just other cool ways to do things. But, uh, you know, say if we're relying mostly on Firestorm, Chaz runs out of uh, TP to do Xan. Rune has plenty of TP to do Nafoy. Well, hey, perfect. Um, although I suspect that, um, and, you know, he's at the zero... I suspect this will do one on them as well. So, we'll have to wait before it's really that useful. Um, oh, that's right. It does look quite different there. Um, you know, two different fire-based uh, moves that we can do. So, um... It's a bit different, different ways to do things. Anyway, we will be visiting a castle next time. You will learn why I have called it Ass Castle um, as we explore it. But anyway, for now, this is Lucas. This is the bases loaded, and um, we'll be moving along. Um, I'll be tackling this at a lower level than usual. I believe there are times I've had Rune's Ephus and thus uh, the Grand Cross combo when I tackled Dark Force in Space Station... Um, Quran, and uh, so, you know, now I've had it for not very long. Um, I think I picked it up during a climate troll. So, um, you know, this is a lower level than usual for me. Should be exciting. So, I will see you next time in a castle in space.